Welcome to our daily devotion. The Methodist Church of Barbados invites you to sing, pray, and worship with us as we declare God's glory and celebrate His mighty acts. Beloved in Christ, on the evening of this most sacred of days, let us delight in hearing again the message of the angels, and in our hearts and minds go again to Bethlehem and see this thing which has come to pass, the babe lying in a manger. Let us tonight read and mark in Holy Scripture the story of God's loving purposes to grant us that glorious redemption brought to us by the Christ child. But first, let us pray. Loving God, the giver of salvation for all mankind, we celebrate today your gifts to humanity, gifts of joy, peace, hope, and love, all embodied in the Christ child. Even as we celebrate your gift of the Christ child, may we ever be mindful of your sacrifice and be forever willing to sacrificially give of ourselves in your service. Bless, Lord, these moments we spend in your presence as this day draws to its close. And may we be inspired by the words of scripture and of the hymn writers you choose to share with us 
tonight. Gracious God, tonight we pray for the needs of the whole world, for peace on earth and goodwill among all people, for unity and brotherhood within the church your son came to build, and especially in this our own Caribbean community. Comforting God, we pray for the hungry and the oppressed, the sick and those who mourn, the lonely and the unloved, the aged and the little children. For all those who know not Jesus as Lord or who by sin have grieved his Holy Spirit. And now we ask, faithful God, that our hearts may find a peaceful and pleasant rest this night. We pray in the name of the Christ child. Amen.
reading from Luke chapter 2, verses 1 through to 7. In those days, a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their own tongues to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to the city of David called Bethlehem, because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged, and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child. And she gave birth to her firstborn son, wrapped him in bands of cloth, and laid him in a manger, because there was no place for them in the end.
A reading from Isaiah chapter 11, verses 1 to 9. A shoot shall come out from the stump of Jesse, and a branch shall grow out of his roots. The Spirit of the Lord shall rest on him, the Spirit of wisdom and understanding, the Spirit of counsel and might, the Spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord. His delight shall be in the fear of the Lord. He shall not judge by what his eyes see or decide by what his ears hear, but with righteousness he shall judge the poor and decide with equity for the meek of the earth. He shall strike the earth with the rod of his mouth and with the breath of his lips he shall kill the wicked. Righteousness shall be the belt around his waist and faithfulness the belt around his loins. The wolf shall live with the lamb. The leopard shall lie down with the kid. The calf and the lion and the fatling together. And a little child shall lead them. The cow and the bear shall graze. The young shall lie down together. And the lion shall eat straw like the ox. The nursing child shall play over the hole of the asp. And the wean child shall put its hand on the other's day. They will not hurt or destroy on all my holy mountain, for the earth will be full of the knowledge of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. Reading from Isaiah chapter 52, reading from verse 7 to verse 10. How beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of the messenger who announces peace, who brings good news, who announces salvation, who says to Zion, Your God reigns. Listen, your sentinels lift up their voices, together they sing for joy, for in plain sight, they see the return of the Lord to Zion. 
Break forth together into singing, you ruins of Jerusalem. For the Lord has comforted his people. He has redeemed Jerusalem. The Lord has bared his holy arm before the eyes of all the nations. And all the ends of the earth shall see the salvation of our God. The Word of the Lord. From Isaiah chapter 9, verse 2, and verses 6 and 7. The people who walk in darkness have seen a great light. Those who live in a land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us. Authority rests upon his shoulders, and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His authority shall grow continually, and there shall be endless peace. For the throne of David and his kingdom, he will establish and uphold it with justice and with righteousness. From this time onward and forevermore, the zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this.
reading from John 1, verses 11 to 14. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born, not of blood, of the will of the flesh, of the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh and lived among us, and we have seen his glory, the glory as of a father's only son, full of grace and truth. But you, O Bethlehem of Ephrathah, who are too little to be among the clans of Judah, from you shall come forth for me one who is to be ruler in Israel, whose coming forth is from of old, from ancient days. Therefore he shall give them up until the time when she who is in labor has given birth. Then the rest of his brothers shall return to the people of Israel. And he shall stand and shepherd his flock in the strength of the Lord, in the majesty of the name of the Lord his God. And they shall dwell secure, for now he shall be great to the ends of the earth, and he shall be their peace. Brothers and sisters, on this Christmas day, may you be filled with the wonder of Mary the obedience of Joseph, the joy of the angels, the eagerness of the shepherds, the determination of the wise men, and the peace of the Christ child. 
Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit bless you now and forevermore. And the people of God say, Amen. of our daily devotion. We trust it has been a blessing to you. Now together, let us hold fast to his word and may it dwell in all of us richly.